Millions of people um, enjoy making and flying paper airplanes. In fact, if you think about it, it's the only aviation that everybody has instant access to. For some reason, the vast majority of this worldwide club of aviators feel themselves bound by three unspoken, unwritten laws. Three laws. Oh. <coughs> ah, and one more. First law. First law of paper airplanes. They have to have a dart shape, okay? Like this, with a keel. Second law. They are thrown hard. Second law. Second law. They're thrown hard like a javelin. Okay? And thirdly, the makers of, ori of these paper darts feel that the rules of origami apply. That means that you have to fold it from a single sheet of paper with edge to edge folds, and you can't cut it, you can't use glue, you can't use staples. Um, this is from Chris Anderson's uh, famous TEDx introduction video. It's a still from it, and these attendees at the TEDx event seem all, and, and I've looked at it very carefully, they seem all to uh, adhere to those three laws. Um, I'm, I've been building paper airplanes since I was a kid, and um, I was bound by those laws as well, and I really have no idea why, um, until I went to university. And I started doing what must be every parent's worst nightmare. Um, I got involved in an activity that killed one in 500 of its participants annually, hang gliding. Um, it is literally possible to strap yourself into a hang glider and walk off a cliff and soar into the sky. Apart from giving me some of the most exhilarating experiences of my life, um, and probably my parents some of their worst <laughs> nightmares, um, Hang gliding taught me that it is possible to hold a, a thin sheet of material in a very simple shape that will give you an extremely efficient um, and stable glider. So, <coughs> my, my paper hang glider then reminded my wife of the boomerang, so it became the paperang. Um, in order to make that shape, I cut it and I held it together with a staple. Um, so it's not origami anymore, although if you look at the way it's folded, it reminds you of its origami roots. Um, there is no keel, and the keel just creates drag, and it has long, thin, efficient wings, so it looks radically different from the, from the dart shape, as you can see. So um, in order to see how well a paperang flies, um, you have to launch it at its natural flying speed. So it goes something like that, OK? Um, <laughs> thank, you, thank you for that. Um, can you imagine what it felt like when I actually did that? Because it, it's, a, it's an all or nothing thing. It went from a dart to that. And I thought, this is really different. And then I thought, if I had invented anything that good in any other part of aviation, I'd be a very rich man. <laughs> Um, <laughs> anyway, so um, it is possible to improve on it, though, because uh, I, I now make them in many different ways. Um, this one uh, is so small. Uh, well, it, you can see it, there's hardly a vestige of origami left in it. Uh, there are no edge-to-edge -edge folds. I use stick glue to hold it together. And it is so small um, that it's self-supporting. So it, it, I can, it's a little piece of 3D sculpture, really and I can bend all the aerodynamics into it um, without using complex folds, OK? Um, so, uh, and that was the sort of thing I was going to show you until last night. I, I was thinking, well, there, there's, there's probably more development to do. Um, and I started thinking about, well, if you work the paper, you can actually uh, make sure that the glue is in certain places, and the glue, when it dries, will bend airfoil shapes into this. And I had a go at that, and it seems to work quite well. Um, oh, that's a little bit nose light there, sorry. Um, let's try that again. Let's have another one. 
I'm doing this for the cameraman, you see. They, 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 they may not catch the first one. There you go. All right? <laughs> so, um, and to give you an idea, the glide angle, this is, you know, 1 in 20 or, or, or something like that. It's, it's quite remarkable uh, what can be done now. So, it really looks as if um, the flying wing shape of, of a hang glider is actually the best shape uh, for a paper airplane. Uh, so, um, I'm, I haven't really come here to show you how to fold a new paper dart. I've come here to show you a new shape um, that should inspire and encourage you um, to go and create your own designs. Um, it really is nothing less than a, a revolution in paper airplanes. Um, <laughs> it, well, you know, all I ever wanted to do to, was to make the best glider out of paper. Uh, but I've discovered that those three old laws, which was holding me back, that those old laws are bad laws. Just break the laws. <laughs> Thank you very much.